I'm Denton Davidson for Gold Derby here with Zahr Amir Ibrahimi, who stars as Rahimi, a female journalist putting her life at risk to track down a serial killer targeting sex workers in Iran. Zahr, first of all, congratulations on the rave reviews for this film, Holy Spider. Um, you won Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival. How did that feel, first of all? Great. <laughs> that fear is actually justice and hope and courage. I mean, I, I think that that award was really the message of justice and courage for me and for many other, many others, not, not only actors, but everyone around me, we were very touched. And I read that you weren't even initially supposed to be in the film. Um, talk about what happened with that and how eventually you became the lead character in this movie. Yeah, you know, I'm basically an actress, but um, in this movie, I started working with Elias, his casting director. And the first time I heard about this project, a friend of mine, a producer, just called me and she told me about the project and that she, uh, Ali is looking for a casting director. And then she told me, if you want, you can try for this character, the journalist too. And I immediately said I want to be his casting director, you know, because somehow in these 15 years of uh, working in France and being involved in many Iranian diaspora movies, I have my critics toward this, these kind of movies. You know, I think always we try, we always try to do our best, but there are always some authentic problems. And I think, you know, accents, body language, locations, and, you know, in many aspects. So I just thought Ali is, is a great director. And I thought we can do something really good together. We met each other and, you know, I, we loved each other. I think we, we both think the same. And then uh, it took me three years, this casting, um, to put all the cast together. We met had more than 500 actors all over Europe and Ali went to Iran. I organized a week of casting there for him. And um, in the end, you know, we managed to bring um, a few actors from inside of Iran. This is, I think, the first time in the whole story of Iranian cinema that happens that people from inside and outside uh, just come together to make a movie. And uh, we had an option. Ali had a very special idea about this journalist. And that was one of the challenging part of casting. We met more than 50 actresses in Europe and it didn't work with them. Ali wasn't really happy. He went to Iran and he met many there. And uh, in the end, we found this uh, very talented and young actress there. And the character actually in the script was younger than me, um, early 20, let's say. And uh, in the end, she accepted. She joined us in Jordan, where we shot the movie. And only one week before shoot, she changed her mind. She, she had her reasons. I think she got, you know, she. There is two scenes in this movie, only two scenes, that the journalist is without hijab, without scarf, in the hotel room, with shirt and short, and that could make many problems for her. We knew we are making a movie that maybe the government doesn't like it anyway. But the, the fact that as an actress, you participate in a movie without hijab can really, you know, it's the end of the road for you in Iranian cinema. So I think somehow she, she was even surprised by her decision. And, you know, as we were just uh, going for the shoot, she just thought she's not the right person for this and she won't do it with her, you know, with all her courage. And so just she announced that she, she would leave us. And, and as I said, we met everyone and I had no more choice. I was sitting there crying and shouting on her. Like, Why did you do that with me? It's unprofessional. And, and I think somehow I did at that night, he saw another, another side of me. You know, he had always this... Um, he was, he was looking for someone very strong, even physically, 
and always he want, he you know he said to me during all those years of casting that you know I don't want someone like you not beautiful not really fragile not you know I need someone very boyish and strong and so I think and I I repeated ten times to him that you know it's all about acting it's you don't have to just focus on the physique and it's all about acting you can have a beautiful actress and she can just you know she can bring you an evil out of that beauty face that she has and anyway I think you know that night something happened and she, he he just proposed me to have a day of casting we took time 24 hours audition and uh in the end he said I I would love to go with you and yeah that's how I became the face of the movie um in so many of the scenes for me I you just deliver so much with your eyes um even like I love the way you look at the men that are pissing you off like the at the hotel when they won't let you check in because you don't have a husband um you know what where did your like love for acting and come from and how did you get so good at it <laughs> because you're just the way that you portray this woman I mean it it really pulls you into the film you know I think more and more you have pain as an actor and you have more experience of life as an actor you maybe can be a better actor if you know how to use it if you know how to, how to find all these pains and bring it out of you to the character you you interpret it's not only about pain but i i mean the experience of life this is this is my impression of acting actually and i think i had a unique story in my life i have a a special experience with, with especially Iranian society with my colleagues there, my friends, and uh, first of all with the with the authority. And <clears throat> I think that this this character was. I don't know, she, she's not me. I, we don't really look like, but she was existing somehow in me. And 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 I think this is the way I work anyway on each character I have in hands and I have to work on. And I try to find, I, I believe that, if, you know, if every side of a character, you can find it in yourself. You need just to, uh, you know, to reach it, reach out to those aspects of the character. And somehow I think I found her in myself and I just developed it with my own experience of life. I, I, I think all those scenes that I face, that guy from authority or the judge, you know, I, I know them. I, I somehow I just brought my questions and my own experience to the character and it just went smoothly. It wasn't that much complicated. You know, the, 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 the scene that, that the officer comes to the hotel room and that harassment and those kind of assaults, I, I know them, you know, I, I know those guys, I know... I know the way they try to harass you, they try to control you, they try to make you scared. That I know, and maybe, you know, I think I, I did my research on, on, on the fact that the journalist, you know, I, I always thought that being a journalist means freedom, means independence, and you have your voice. No one can bother you. No, no one can stop you because you know if someone comes and he wants to arrest, harass you, so you can talk about it. You can just make make a scandal out of it, and you have your own voice. But I realized when I started my you know researching, the, even during the casting ties, it's not you know even even in France, even in US, I think journalists the the, the violence toward journalists in their daily life is something that we don't expect but it exists and maybe there I just could find myself and my own experience of life with those men you know we, we talk about the patriarchal society it's all about misogyny and I know it I, I I know it you know with my skin and so yeah sometimes it's 
there is a pain there, there is kind of pain to interpret these kind of characters but at the same time if you have it in yourself you just it's just enough to find it and bring it up mm. And what was it like working with Mehdi Bejistani, the actor who plays Saeed? Um, the two of you have some very intense scenes. One in particular, I don't want to give too much away, um, but, you know, what was it like just building up that tension together and then having those explosive scenes, you know, back and forth? Yeah, Mehdi is, is an amazing stage actor. I knew him from my mm. working years in Iran, and I just... You know, saw him on the stage, and every every time I appreciated him. And this already he came and he joined us. That's really brave, because normally no one does it. You know, from Iranian cinema, and he knew that he takes a risk anyway. And I think he just he like all of us. He wanted to do it in the best way possible. He wanted to 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 participate in a movie without any censor without any control of that government. And, you know, knowing that Ali is a great director, you know, he came with everything he had and he put it in this character. And all those scenes together, I mean, maybe for you as an audience, you find that scene when I when Ben Rahimi is in the house and you know, he's trying to kill her. That was really harsh scene and, and it was not really easy to shoot. Yeah. Uh, we had two, three days of rehearsals and then during the shooting, we went very, you know, um, we had our sound coordinator there, but we were out of control, I think, both of us. We just wanted to go to, to in, into the, you know, end of it. And, but for me, the, the challenge, the more challenging one was the one we shot in the prison when I interviewed him. Mm. You know, he made me very angry. <laughs> he was he was sitting there like I, I had the feeling that the, really a killer is sitting in front of me and he was playing with me. And, you know, the, the, the way that Ali films is very special too. He leaves you to do everything you want. You, you have lots of space to improvise. And each scene is very different from the other scene. And so, we, you know, having Mehdi in front of me as that killer, and he was just, he went for improvise and he started to say some nonsense things to me and just trying to harass me and assault me and treat me. And, you know, everything came up really naturally because I think, we had our lines, but we didn't stay with those lines. And that really helped me to, to I, I see even sometimes myself, when I see the movie, I get very surprised with my reaction to Mehdi in that, especially in that scene. No, I, I was hating him and he's really strong, you know. And I think the way he just, you know, in the movie, you see a very nice, kind father. And at night he becomes a killer. And he gave all this side of this character very powerful, I mean, performance, you know, and that that became just every time he was in front of camera, it was like he is in the character. He was not playing, he was not acting, he was in it. He's really strong. I, I'm really happy to have this experience with him. It was short our scenes together, but very powerful memory I have. Yeah. Um, when you were growing up, you know, at what point did you decide you wanted to become an actor or an artist? I mean, was there a movie that you saw or an actor that you were like, oh, I want to be just like them when I'm when I'm older? Like what what made you be want to do this? <laughs> No, in a very strange way, I have to say. I always try to not get influenced by, by uh, actors or actresses or filmmakers. You know, I have my favorite movies, my favorite actors, but I never... No, I think the whole... Uh, the, you know, cinema for me is... I have my passion for cinema, but in 
every aspect of cinema, every corner of filmmaking for me is interesting. I became actress because I wanted to become director and I made my first uh, short movie. And, you know, I started working in cinema as an assistant director script and then I made my short movie and then uh, I, I had a professor and he was one of the best uh, theater directors in Iran and he told me if you want to be a good act director it's better if you start with act acting then you can work with your actors and that was a something that I'm I'm really happy that I listened to him and I started my acting uh, course and lessons and you know and I found myself very very passionate about acting and that's how I became actor you know I just I think my passion about cinema just brought me to acting and then after after started after starting acting you know I never just said okay I'm 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 only an actress and you know I'm not satisfied if I just do working in cinema as an actress. I do still filming. I I I have my production company in Paris. I try to produce movies. You know the whole aspect of it just is interesting for me. And if you want me to just say who is my favorite director, I have to say David Lynch oh. and all <laughs> those surreal kind of movies that I know. But no, I appreciate all those amazing actresses in Hollywood, in French cinema, in Italian cinema, uh, recently in Scandinavian cinema. And you know, no, I, I think I'm influenced by everyone and by no one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Um, Lazar, I hope everyone goes out and sees Holy Spider wherever they can. It's suspenseful, thought provoking, um, and the performances are just, Brilliant. Congratulations to you and thank you for speaking with Gold Derby today. Thank you so much.